believe that social emotional learning and mindfulness programs should be a focus in schools and um, not once in a while, but a part of an everyday thing. And uh, recently, as you know, Florida passed a law, uh, a rule that middle school and high schools must implement five hours of this kind of programming. Um, it's definitely a start. Five hours probably isn't enough, but uh, we, uh, every, I think everyone needs to be trying to work to getting more, but uh, five hours is a good start. And uh, I just want to ask, um, w will you be working to get more than five hours on the, uh, of this curriculum into our education system or the school board in general? No, absolutely. Um, five hours is a, a great start, as you said, Adam. But we also, I think that those five hours should have started in kindergarten. Yeah. Why are we not starting those five hours when the students are most um, impressionable and that can make such a difference? Give them the building blocks to develop throughout their career. And so I would definitely reach out to my legislators. I would encourage the students to reach out to their legislators and to let them know that this is really important, that we need to be able to get this, um, this the mindfulness in, into our schools and more than five hours is needed. And I would definitely be an advocate for that. Awesome. Um, and I know uh, I've, we've talked about the code red drills. Um, that's something that causes a lot of stress among teachers and kids actually. So let's talk about that for a second, the code road rules. We know that they're necessary, unfortunately, but at the same time, they, uh, like I said, they cause of a lot of stress and trauma for kids and teachers. Do you believe that we should be like training the teachers to do some form of mindfulness with the kids after the code red rules to help them de-stress? Because I've had times where um, I'm in a class that we're supposed to have a test and then have the code red drill and then right after we have to take the test right away and the kids aren't really in the right mindset. So what do you think? So the code red drills are required now by state law one every month. And I absolutely think that we need to be teaching students and teachers different techniques for them to be able to use after the code red drill is over. Because you can't go from a fight or flight situation to now a learning situation without some type of breathing exercises or techniques to be able to make that switch and connection and then begin to learn. Yeah. Um, so I absolutely would be, um, I'm, I am pushing to get the district to make those, um, teach, teach the teachers to be able to teach their students how to use these techniques. So after a code red drill happens, we could um, have the students perform a type of breathing exercise to be able to be able to then go into a learning situation. Mm -hmm.